Hi, this is Emily from the ShotCam team. In this video, we'll show you how to use a mobile device to connect to the ShotCam, set up your settings, and watch videos frame by frame. Let's get started. The mobile app is for any Android or Apple device, such as an iPhone, iPad, Android phone, or tablet. If you have a Chromebook, then the camera will need to be plugged in using the provided USB cable and cannot be used wirelessly. The app is called ShotCam and it allows you to move the reticle, which is the red dot or crosshair seen in our videos, choose your settings, download multiple videos at a time, and watch them frame by frame. Now to download the free ShotCam app onto your mobile device, visit either the Google Play Store for Android or the App Store for Apple devices. Tap on the search bar, type in ShotCam, then install the app. Once the app has finished installing, you will see the icon appear next to the other apps on your device. The ShotCam app will only open once connected to the camera's Wi-Fi. So now we'll turn the camera into Wi-Fi mode. Start with the shot cam off, then hold the power button down for five seconds. Release, then both LEDs will light up yellow. A few seconds later, one will turn green. It is now sending out its own source of Wi-Fi. So you'll connect to the shot cam Wi-Fi like you would connect to an office or Starbucks Wi-Fi. Now back onto your mobile device, open the Settings app, tap on Wi-Fi, then select the ShotCam network. Once you see the check mark next to the ShotCam, it's connected. Please note that some mobile devices say unsecured network because it's not password protected, but only people within 10 feet of the ShotCam can connect to its Wi-Fi. Now close the settings and tap on the ShotCam app. You will now see a live view from the camera. The four icons at the bottom are for adjusting your settings, playing your videos, recording a test video, and aligning the reticle. We'll first go over how to align the reticle, which again is a red dot or crosshair seen in your videos. Before continuing the shot cam setup, please ensure that your gun is empty. Now place it on a table pointed at a target about 30 yards or beyond. Look down the barrel to align the bead onto a target. If you're at the range, simply place a gun on your shooting bag and aim it at a tree branch or any stationary target off in the distance. Anything beyond 30 yards will be perfect for all shooting disciplines. Once the gun is stable and the bead is on a target, go to your mobile device to start adjusting the camera's reticle. The purpose of this is to ensure that the reticle in your videos exactly reflects where your barrel was aimed. It may only need adjusted a few inches up or down or to either side. To move the reticle, hold down the blue arrow for two to three seconds, then release it. Please allow for a slight Wi-Fi delay. Once it's centered on your target, press save. Now to change the camera settings, tap on the gear icon. From here, you can change your gun type. If for example, you're going from a break action to a semi-auto, choose your target type, which would be the clay targets, flying birds, or ground game, such as turkey or deer. You can also change the recording length and speed, but we recommend leaving all these settings as normal with the factory defaults. Now to play a video, we'll do a short test recording to walk you through the steps. Begin by tapping on the record icon to start a recording, and again to stop the recording. Next, press the play icon and a dated folder will now appear. Open the dated folder, 
Then you'll be able to select up to four videos at a time. Press the download icon, then a pop-up will appear. The top option is to quickly watch the video within the app. Then the second option will also save a copy onto your mobile device. This option allows you to watch the video outside of the ShotCam app and without being connected to the camera's Wi-Fi. The video will be saved in your photos or gallery app. Once it's on your mobile device, you can text it or upload it to social media. The video file will be too big to email because an email attachment must be under 20 megabytes. But you can either text it or share using AirDrop, Dropbox, or YouTube. The ShotCam holds up to 2,000 videos on its internal memory card. But when you're ready to delete the videos, either delete them within the mobile app or with your computer. We hope that this has been helpful, and if you have any questions at all, please send us a message on the Contact Us page, send us an email, or give us a call. Thanks for watching.